all right so i just received my package from thrive market i really like the details on the outside of the box they even had their own packaging tape that was really cute all of the sides of the box were decorated and the box did come in quite large on one side it said belong to a better market and then all the insides of the package were printed with details about their recycling processes and their annual membership and how it sponsors a family in need it was also signed by the person who packed it which makes you feel like real love and care from a genuine person went into it and it talks a little bit about their mission to bring affordable healthy snacks um i really didn't like how much cardboard packaging they use in it i understand they want items to not break but they do talk a lot about sustainability and it was a lot of extra cardboard so they did pack the box quite nicely to make things fit and the first thing I got was the cauliflower crackers in cheddar and these are supposed to taste sort of like Cheez-Its. Um, I was a little skeptical because I have tried healthy versions of Cheez-Its in the past and I really haven't liked them um, but they are supposed to be way better for you and I'm excited to try them. I also got four packages of their quinoa mix which is organic and done in only 60 seconds in the microwave so it is ready to eat. So I think four of these was a good amount so you can make them in different meals or put them in salads or things like that. The next item I got was organic dried mango, which are ethically sourced, which you love to see. And I love the little icons on the back, which just talk about their fair trade processes and organic materials. They also put in a little pamphlet that just explains their healthy snacks and what the market is used for so i think that was really informative and a good thing to put in there i would have liked to see it on the top of the package though next i just ordered some artisan bread it did get a little squished up when packaging but it wasn't that bad as you can see on the side here and it's only 160 calories which is really great and then i ordered two bags of the avocado oil potato chip with the flavor of himalayan sea salt and they're gluten-free with no gmos for only 140 calories and it also gave information about their sustainability. The first thing I was going to try was the cauliflower crackers because I was excited about them. The box was around exactly the same size as a normal cheese it box and getting into it was quite easy. It was in a sort of like silver tinfoil type packaging and it was pretty easy to open up. I was a little disappointed to see that they're very very thin and super crispy. Um, they look like they have a lot of salt on them. So trying them, I think they were very, very salty and very, very dry. Definitely really crunchy. I don't think they tasted like Cheez-Its at all, and I don't think I would eat them again. So I was pretty unimpressed with the first item. So putting those to the side, my mouth was definitely dry. I had to take a sip of my coffee afterwards. The next thing I was going to try was the dried mango, which I know is so good for you and a really good way to get your fruit content into your body for the day. And it's much easier than buying produce, which is likely to go bad. So trying this, there were a lot of bigger pieces, but I wasn't sure if I liked it. So I picked out this really small piece and obviously it's really chewy. I think it could have been dehydrated just a little bit more. It was all right. The flavor got better, but definitely not one of my favorites. The avocado oil potato chips, opening them was definitely very difficult compared to the Cheez-It type crackers. So I had to rip the side of the bag open, but Normally, healthy potato chips don't taste that much different, so I was excited to try these ones. They look just like normal potato chips with the same kind of consistency and texture, and I honestly liked those a lot. I think they taste just like normal potato chips. So getting into the bread, I didn't want to just eat the bread plain, so I made this little sandwich so I can try the bread and see what it tastes like. I was a little skeptical because it seemed very um, like fake and very like squishy, so I really didn't expect to like the bread at all. I'm definitely very skeptical about this one, but taking it out of the package and trying it with just some ham and cheese, and as you can see, it's very like thick and squishy, which is kind of weird. But trying it, I was definitely pleasantly surprised. I thought the bread was really good. So overall, I really liked the bread. The dried mango was okay, and the potato chips were good, but some of their other snacks were definitely not my favorite. I was really disappointed in the Cheez-Its.